have the anatomical model of the spinal cord. Here we can see that we are at the cervical level of the spinal cord. We have the spinous process, which is bifurcated, and I also have the transverse foramina, and these only occur in the cervical vertebrae. So now we can get oriented. Here I have the body, and this is the spinous process. So this tells me that this is the anterior direction and this is the posterior direction. And here we have the spinal cord. The spinal cord, just like the brain, is wrapped by meninges. The meninge that is shown here in white that is closest to the spinal cord is the pia mater, which means the loving mother. And this outer white meninges here is the dura mater, which means tough mother. And in between the pia mater and dura mater, we have the arachnoid membrane. And deep to the arachnoid membrane, we have the subarachnoid space. Here we have the anterior median fissure of the spinal cord. The anterior median fissure. And this is the posterior median sulcus. The posterior median sulcus. So if you're seeing this structure on a slide or on another model, the easiest way to tell anterior from posterior is to look for this anterior median fissure, which is much larger than the posterior median sulcus. In the cross section of the spinal cord, we can see the white matter and the gray matter. The gray matter of the spinal cord makes kind of this butterfly shape. The gray matter consists of the lateral horns, the ventral horns, and the dorsal horns. And this section that connects the gray matter from either side of the spinal cord together is the gray commissure. Coming out of the anterior or ventral side of the spinal cord, we have the ventral roots. And on the posterior side, we see the dorsal roots. The dorsal roots terminate in this structure here called the dorsal root ganglia. Here at the center of the spinal cord, we have the central canal, which is filled with cerebrospinal fluid. The dorsal root ganglion and the ventral root ganglion will come together to form the spinal nerve. The spinal nerve will then split off into the dorsal ramus and ventral ramus.